Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Mitchell, also known as Kerr Martian. The viewers of one of my previous videos repeatedly requested a guide to upgrading the operating system on their new Casio Prism FX CG50 calculators. Therefore, I wanted to put together a guide. Before I do, here's two other videos that may be useful to you. First, if you haven't already seen that previous video where I compared the new FX CG50 to the Casio Prism FX CG10, FX CG20, and the TI-84 Plus CE, two of its closest competitors. Feel free to check that out. Just click on the picture right here. And coming soon, perhaps by the time you view this, it will already have arrived, I'll be making a quick review of what's actually new in Casio Prism OS 3.10, which is what I'll be teaching to load onto your calculator today. Among other things, it offers new upgrades in the 3D graphing capabilities and also extends the new functionality to the older FX CG10 and FX CG20 prisms. Anyway, let's get started with the simple process of upgrading your calculator's OS. First, go to edu.casio.com. You'll see this page, scroll down and find the download See More button. Click on See More and you'll get taken to a page where you can select whether you want to upgrade the OS on your CAS or regular graphing calculator. The FXCG50 and 10 and 20 are regular graphing models, so click the See More button under that. Next, you'll be asked to accept a license agreement. Click that you accept the license agreement if you do in fact accept it, and you'll be taken to a page where you can select the operating system you have. This installer doesn't actually install a program on your computer. Instead, through the installer, you upgrade the OS on your calculator directly. So choose whether you want the Windows or the Mac OS version. Unfortunately, there is no Linux version. Once that downloads, and it takes a little bit to download, it will be a, an EXE file if you're using the Windows version. It might be something different if you're using the Mac version inside a zip file. Double click that EXE to run it. You may be asked if you want to provide administrative permissions to that program. You do. When you do, you'll be taken to the first screen of the installer. Click Next. If you accept the license agreement, say that you do and click Next again. Then you have to click Install. So it'll ask you to disconnect your calculator. This is an important step. Make sure you disconnect your Casio Prism FXCG 10, 20, or 50 from your computer before you click OK on this dialog. Then you'll have an opportunity to replug it in after this. Also, make sure that the batteries in your calculator are relatively fresh at this point. If your calculator batteries die in the middle of the OS upgrade procedure, you could corrupt your calculator's memory. Next, it'll have some very specific steps for you to follow. So you can plug the calculator back into the computer. Then if it asks what kind of connection mode you want, just press exit. You don't want any connection mode. Press menu to go back to the main menu. Find the system app. Enter that and then choose F6 for next page and then F5 for upgrade OS. Finally, click the OK button right here. It'll ask you if you want to confirm. Make sure that you confirm, you know, if you do in fact want to upgrade the OS. And if, like me, you don't have a new version of the 3D graphing app yet, it'll also separately ask you to confirm that you want that. So click yes. Now it'll go through the process first of upgrading the 3D graphing application, then erasing your old operating system, and finally installing the new operating system. And that's about it. Once that completes, your calculator should restart. Just go through the initial menu to set up your preferred language, type of batteries, etc., and you'll be back at the main menu. You can start playing around with your new Casio Prism FX CG 10, 20, or 50 on OS 3.10, or whatever new operating system version you're installing on your calculator. That's about it. If you are interested in those two other videos, I encourage you to check them out. If you're debating whether you should get a Casio Prism, an TI-84 Plus CE, or another graphing calculator, we have a guide on Camatech that you can find in the description below. And if you have any questions about this procedure or the Casio Prism in general, feel free to write them in the comments or on the Camatech forum. See you in the next video.